Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to run sentiment analysis with Microsoft Excel. It would be very tedious if you have to analyze hundreds and thousands of text comments from a survey. The good news is there is a free add-in from Microsoft that helps you to do sentiment analysis with Excel. To start, Go to the Insert tab and click on Get Add-ins. At the search box, type Azure Machine Learning. Then Edit. So you see the Azure machine uh, learning uh, added at the right pane of the uh, Excel spreadsheet. Here, click on text sentiment analysis and then click on view schema. Next, you need to replace this uh, header with this word for the sentiment analysis software to run. So I start highlight this text click uh, control c to copy it and then go to, go to this cell control v to paste it take note that this word has to be is is text uh, sensitive um, so it, it is all uh, small caps here has to be all small caps all right all right so next um Click on this view schema to close it. And uh, click on this, uh, at this uh, input, input area, click on this input box. And uh, we want to select the cells with the data, which is from here, including the header from here, select all the way down to here. Click here again and click OK. Next, uh, for the output, this way I want the data to of the sentiment analysis to appear at this cell C6, right? So enter C6, which is this cell here. Okay. So we put in C6 here and click predict. After you click predict, you'll notice that there's a column appearing here, the, which is one column for the sentiment and one column for the score of the sentiment. So positive sentiment, this is the score, negative neutral, these are the scores, negative, these are the these scores, right? We want to convert these into percentages. So I click on this uh, column D, this uh, whole column, go to home, look for the percentage uh, the sign, and then uh, click on it. And here, the score is uh, all into percentages. So in, in sentiment analysis, the, the sentiment can range from zero to 100%. 100% means very positive sentiment. 0% means very negative sentiment. Now, click on cell uh, D6 here, and then go to the data tab. Uh, what we want to do is to sort this data. So at this data tab, the uh, click on this Z to A to sort from the highest to the lowest. So when I click on this, yeah, so the uh, data is uh, sorted from the highest to the lowest. Next, uh, let's go to insert a pivot table. Click on the insert and then click on pivot table. All right. And uh, here we have this uh, select a table or range. 
click on this. Uh, I want to select from uh, this uh, cell all the way to here. Basically, is to select the whole uh, data fields from here to here. Next, we go back to here. Under this, uh, uh, now we need to decide where we want the pivot data, uh, pivot table to be placed. I want it to be in this spreadsheet, so I click existing spreadsheet. And um, the uh, location that I want to place it is, uh, let me choose it, let's choose it here. So I click here, which is a cell F6, right? And we click OK. Let me close this so it's not so messy. Uh, all right, so you have the uh, pivot table here. Uh, at the pivot table, um, I want the sentiment view, so I click the sentiment views and it appears here. And I want the score, so I click the score and the score appears uh, here, all right? See, sentiment is here and the sum of scores is here. But I don't want the sum of scores, so to change it, I click on this uh, sum of scores, uh, click on the uh, value field settings and choose average. I want, because I want average of the sentiment, not the sum of the sentiment. Then click OK. Okay, let me adjust, uh, do some adjustment uh, so that you can see uh, better. All right, the, so these are averages. Um, to make it, uh, I want to uh, look like percentages. Uh, I'll go to uh, the home screen and click percentages. So it changes uh, to percentages. Next, let's uh, drag this uh, data tweak and move it to the values here and release. By dragging there, you see the count of tweak. So here, and the count of tweak should be in numbers. Uh, so let's put it to, to uh, numbers. So what does this, uh, this table mean? Here, the, uh, it means uh, there are, for negative comments, there are three negative comments. One, two, three. So three, three uh, negative comments. And um, negative comments, uh, and this means that the 40% uh, of all the comments here are negative. And uh, neutral comments, here they kind of tweak, they say there's only one because there's only one uh, neutral comment. And this represents 57% uh, of all these Next, uh, for positive, uh, there's four uh, uh, positive comments here, four positive comments. And this represents 78% uh, of all the comments. All right. Uh, and um, next, uh, so overall, the sentiment is 61%, uh, which is uh, generally uh, considered positive uh, uh, comment. All right, so overall is uh, generally uh, positive. All right, that, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary YouTube channel.